hey loves and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to make this overlap trendy peplum or trendy detail we are going to do only the peplum part as for the jumpsuit we have our jumpsuit class coming up on the 30th of this month so please ensure to register ensure you register then we also have our blazer class i'll leave the link to the telegram and the whatsapp group in the comment section so this is the lining i want to use the lining to cut out this peplum first because cutting it on your fabric will consume a lot either you cut it on your lining or on your pattern paper so first of all we are going to do some additions so the waist measurements you add to the waist measurements you add 10 inches you add extra 10 inches the waist measurement of this dress is 30 inches but i added extra 10 inches because of the overlap you can see that they overlap at the front so they will use five five inches to overlap each other so if your waist is 40 you will add extra 10 inches to it if it is 25 you will add extra 10 inches to it then you will divide by 6.28 so like i said the waist that i am using is 30 inches so i added extra 10 inches to it and then i divided it by 6.28 so after dividing my radius will be 6.3 so i have measured this fabric i have folded 6.3 and the length of the peplum the longest part of this peplum you can see there's a pointy part there so the longest part is 14 inches i want to make it 14 so i marked 6.3 round and from that place i will measure my 14 inches round like i said the longest part of this peplum you know we have this long part the pointy part the longest part will be 14 so i want to use 14 to cut out the lining first like 14 should be the full length first if you want you can make your 17 or 19 i later increase the length but if you want yours to be moderate make it 14 inches long so i have measured and i'll cut out so after cutting out i'll open this peplum up and then i will notch the two points that is to indicate the center front and the center back so right now i am going to divide the peplum into two remember one side of this peplum is shorter than the other if you check it very well you will see that one side is actually shorter than the other so i divided them into two one will be the um long part and one will be the short part and remember i cut this out on 14 i used the longest part to cut out the peplum so this is how they are going to overlap each other so right now i'll keep one aside and i will reduce one one will have the normal length of a peplum that is nine inches plus one inch in allowance i want to make it nine inches plus one inch in allowance that is 10. so i'll measure 10 round i'll reduce it to 10 inches it will have the length of a normal peplum while the other one will be one side will be long and one side will be short so this one is 10 10 inches right now and i'm going to reduce it you can see i'm trimming it off that is why i said you should cut on your lining so that you will not spend so much fabric you can also cut on your pattern paper it is better so that you can save your fabric so this is for the normal one side for the normal length then this is the one that we have that pointy area so i will start with 10 inches on one side i'll start with 10 inches on one side i'll be marking 10 i'll continue marking 10 and when i reach the center area that is where i will stop this is like the center area of this half circle now so i'll mark 10 and then i will connect you can see i am connecting the 10 10 inches when you reach that um center area the place that looks like the center you will now slant towards that 14 inches you will slant towards the 14 inches because the 14 inches is the longest part of this peplum 
like I said. So right now I am going to reduce the length. I'll continue trimming off and when I reach the center area, I will slant towards the full length, towards the 14 that we used to cut out this peplum. So you can see the shape now. And if you place the other one on it, this is how they are going to overlap each other. If you place the other one on it, you can see the shape. So like I said, I later increased the length of this um, pointy peplum, the longer one. I want it to be more defined so i increase the length so this is the new one this one is 17 inches i had to cut out a new one this one is 19 or 17 inches you can see it is more defined now it is way longer than the other peplum so this is for the down part this is how they are going to overlap they will use five five inches to overlap each other so this is for the down part and this one is for the one at the top this is for the design at the top so for that one you can see that one side is short and one side is long as well so for that one the longest part of it will be 14 inches so i am going to fold my fabric and the radius i will just use five inches for the radius i want to use just five inches so i have folded and i'll go ahead and measure five five inches round just use five inches for now from the center of the fold i will measure five five inches round then from that five inches i will measure 14 inches 14 inches will be the longest part. It will be the pointy part of the peplum. So from that area, I will measure my 14 inches round. So I am done marking my 14 inches and I will go ahead and cut this out. Please cut it as a pe cut it like a peplum cut a peplum in fact because if you make it straight it will not give you the defined shape so i am done cutting and i'll go ahead and open just one side the other one i opened the both sides right but this one i will open just one side so it is time to reduce one side so i am going to reduce the other one to nine inches it is 8 inches, but I added 1 inch for seam allowance. So I'm going to reduce this side to 9 inches. I'll continue marking 9, 9 inches. Just start from any side, then continue marking 9, 9 inches. So remember, for this one, you will not really cut it. You will not really use a lining to turn the, the upper parts. You will use the main fabric to to turn it like you cut the main fabric and you also use the main fabric as the lining because you know you are going to fold it as a flounce and when you are folding it the lining part will be showing so use your fabric as the lining part it will be more it will make more sense it will be more beautiful don't use the lining so when i am approaching the end part of this peplum i will stop marking that nine inches you can see i will stop here and i will slant it like i did to the down part when you're approaching the end you will stop around here and you will slant so you can see how this one looks i am going to cut it out i'll reduce this short part So I'll reduce it and this is for the upper part. So right now this is how it looks. You can see one side is longer than the other. So if you fold this, like if you fold it like a flounce, you will see the shapes. Give you, you'll be going to and fro, to and fro until you get the shape you want. So I noticed that the length is a kind of too much. So I reduced it. So after cutting, you have to destroy everything if you if there's any need for trimming you go ahead and trim so i reduced the length because i noticed that it is way too long for me so this is how it looks then do some little little trimmings before you cut out on your main fabric so right now i'll cut all these things out on my main fabric like i said 
the one at the upper part will not have any lining. I just used this lining as a pattern paper. So you cut out two pieces for the one at the top. So this is the one at the top. I am cutting the main fabric. And after cutting the main fabric, I also cut out the main fabric for the lining. So this is one side of the down part. I am cutting it out on the main fabric. And if you are cutting, please ensure to mark the wrong side so that you will not misplace things so that you know the ones that are facing right to face right and the ones that are facing left to face left please ensure to indicate the wrong side of your fabric to avoid mistakes so i am cutting out the last part of the peplum the second part the shorter part of the waist peplum so i am done doing that and i added hard interface to all of them so i want to um, advise you guys if you are doing this please add interface to only the fabric adding interface to only the lining sorry add your hard interface to the lining only leave the fabric because it affects it so if you add it you can use a crino line to turn i don't know if you understand so add your interface to your lining and leave the fabric so I am done turning all of them. This is the longest part of the waist and this is the short part of the waist. So you can see, I'll go ahead and place them this way. And see how neat and firm they look. They will have to overlap each other. Then after placing, measure your round waist to ensure that you have gotten what you want. There is no zipper allowance to this. I did not add any zipper allowance because they will not enter my zipper allowance. They will stop around the zip area. So I did not add any zipper allowance. So after overlapping, you go ahead and pin them down. So this is the final look. So here is for the upper part. You go ahead and fold it like a flounce. Like I said, you'll be going to and fro. You'll be going to and fro until you have gotten the desired shape you want. So it is up to you. You can manipulate things the way you want. So this is how mine is. I'll go ahead and pin it down. So after joining this to your waist, the upper part, the rest of it will be needle work. You have to use your needle and thread. So after pinning, you can see they are not equal at the down part. After pinning, I will go ahead and trim with my scissors so that all of them will be equal because I will join it around the waist. So here is the clothes that I'm sewing, the dress that I'm, the jumpsuit that I'm making. I'll place it this way. You can see the way I placed it. So place it and then use your pin to hold it down. Then you can go ahead and join it using your sewing machine. So after that, I will also go ahead and add the waist peplum and you guys can see this looks so beautiful. It is mm -hmm. so, so beautiful. So right now you can join the down part of your jumpsuit and this is the final look after making everything. I added my bead and then my trimming or my applique. So it is up to you. Please ensure to register for our jumpsuit class. You can see how beautiful and fitted this is. This is the first fitting and it is so beautiful. I have not done any adjustments at this stage. So see you guys in my next video. Bye.